Hey guys, I'm Jason from Tesla Guides. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite convenience features on the Tesla, the summon feature. Now there are two ways to do this, the right way or this way. That's not the way to do it. Summon feature is really useful if you're trying to get into tight parking spaces or if you park in a parking spot and someone pulls up really close to you and you don't want to damage your car trying to open the door. What it basically does is it pulls your car out a maximum of 40 feet or it'll reverse your car a maximum of 40 feet. To set up Summon on your Model S X or 3, you're going to go into the settings for the car and then you're going to click Autopilot and then you're going to select Summon. You're going to slide it over to the right and hit Customize Summon and you're going to have a bunch of options. The three that you care about are the top three. First one is bumper clearance, and that is a uh, distance in inches between eight and 48 inches that you select. Uh, what I recommend is you actually pull into your garage, put it where you want, and then measure the distance between your wall and your bumper, and then set that on your screen so that it goes to that spot every time. And keep in mind that little things that are in your garage, like bicycle wheel tires or a golf club or an umbrella, are not going to be seen so it may run into those so be careful you want the area clear before you summon so before we talk about the second option which is summon distance i want to talk about how you engage this really quickly there's basically two ways the first you can use the app on your phone you can hold the down for reverse or forward and then as soon as you let it go it's going to stop wherever it is up to a maximum of whatever distance you set which we'll talk about in a second the second way is to use your key fob utilize your key fob in order to start the summon feature what you're going to do is hold down the center button until the hazard lights flash and then at that point you can either select reverse or forward if you want to go forward you're going to hold down your front trunk button once if you want to go backwards you're going to hold down the trunk like this to stop it hit any key the third option for summon is side clearance it's either going to be standard or tight now if you've got a small garage you probably want to select tight so that when the car pulls up to it and it sees the threshold, it's not going to stop and, and refuse to go in. So uh, tight is probably a good one to select. But keep in mind, when you hit tight, you increase the chance that the car might accidentally run into something, and that's not good. So you should always watch it when you're doing summon uh, at all times. The next option is continuous press. Basically, a yes or no. Do you want to have to hold down the iPhone button or your key fob until it's done moving, or do you want to just let it go until it sees some obstacle to stop or hits the predetermined amount of feet that you've selected. A note on summon clearance. You can go anywhere from 10 to 40 feet. I usually just select 40 to give me the most leeway because it'll go up till it hits something or is about to hit something. Hopefully it doesn't actually hit something. Um, but if you select 15 feet and you actually need to go 18, then it's kind of a pain in the butt because then you have to get in and, and reverse the last three feet yourself. So here's a summon pro tip for you. Next time you're at the car wash and the guy's over here, washing your windows or whatever. Turn Summon on and just kind of move the car a little bit. See what he does. <laughs> Don't do that. Maybe. No. Okay, so now you know the basics of Summon. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot. I'm Jason from Tesla Guides. We'll see you next time.